the value of k for which this function is continuous at x equal to 4 is and when we are done we are going to choose from one of these options to solve this problem let's understand the question the upper part is known as left hand limit while the lower part is known as right hand limit from the number line this is 4 the left hand limit will approach 4 but will not be equal to 4 while the right hand limit will approach 4 and can be equal to 4 for the continuity of this function the left hand limit must be equal to the right hand limit hence we equate this and then solve to solve this you can differentiate directly or you can apply difference of two squares we are going to see that both of them will give us the same answer now let's start by using difference of two squares in difference of two squares a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket this is difference of two squares subsequently x is the same as square root of x then squared this is the same as x to the power of half then squared outside and this is the same as x to the power of half multiplied by 2 and 2 can cancel out and you are left with x which is the same as we started earlier also square root of 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of half and it is the same thing as 2 i'm going to use all this to modify this hence k is equal to this and x has not changed and k can further be written as this k is now the same as this you can see that difference of two squares can be applied at the denominator hence k becomes k has now been represented in difference of two squares next square root of x minus 2 can cancel out and we are left with 1 over square root of x plus 2 next, next i will take the limit of the function and instead of x i will substitute 4 k is now equal to 1 over 4 this is our answer let's repeat this question using differentiation in this method too let's apply the hopital rule this means instead of treating this like quotient rule we are going to treat each number independently we are going to differentiate each number separately as if it exists alone if you differentiate minus 2 is 0 if you differentiate minus 4 is 0 if you differentiate x is 1 hence when we differentiate each independently we are going to have this we are not going to write the zeros also the one can be omitted and you are left with this next this can be rewritten as this and also can be rewritten as this and we can further rewrite it as this next take the limit and you can see we got one over four just as before and our answer is d you can check out other videos 
and other topics in pre-calculus. And you can locate other videos by following the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.